We did another video on nested layers, and we'll cover that again as it is a bone enhancement. So you'll get a brief rundown of that. However, if you're looking for more in-depth information on the nested layers, we recommend that you check out that video so you can get more of an understanding of how it works in this new version. So to get started, what we have going on here is just a character that we rigged up. And you can see here on our layers panel that we have two bone layers. One is nested within the other. The move layer bone layer <laughs> is the uh, smart bone that we made. And the run cycle is simply the run cycle animation. You can see our dial is right there for the first bone layer. And if we play this, the second bone layer is just doing this. It's cycling in animation. Well, now with nested bones, we can come in here and we could click on that first one with the smart bone. And we already have an action made up for this, but it's linked to the run cycle layer. So what we could do is just move this dial back and we are on frame one. And we could come over here now to, let's say, frame 96 and then move the dial forward. And again, this action was already placed ahead of time. And we do have a lot of information on smart bone actions in other videos if you're interested. So as you can see, when we play this out, it plays out nicely. We could even move these keyframes back to, let's say, frame 48 to make it run faster. So that is pretty much how you would expect it to work. And again, it's nice now that we can nest these types of layers so that we can create more advanced movements and just do more advanced, I would say, techniques in general without having to worry about not being able to organize within layers. So we have that going on. Now, the other enhancement that is really cool with version 9.5 is the ability to label and color bones. Let's just reset the workspace here so we have our character on screen and we can see them. Now, when doing an animation like this, sometimes it might get tricky because you can see we have a lot of overlap with bones, like right here. The arm and leg bones kind of overlap and it's hard to tell which one is which. Well, if we take the select bone tool and then click on one of these bones and go up to the top, we can choose a color, for instance, orange. You can see it now is marked as orange or yellow, which makes it stand out. So if we get to that point then when there's overlap, we can tell which bone is which. And we could color code every single bone if we wanted to, or just individual bones that might be giving us issues, like we could do this for the arm as well. So as you can see here, that overlap is now easier to work with because we can tell which bone is which. So another useful thing about this is let's click on the hand bone and we could come up here to the colors and choose, let's say, purple. Now, coming down here to the timeline, you'll notice there is a channel for the purple bones. So that means now that if you are confused as to which bone is which on the channels, whichever bone is purple, you can just manipulate those keyframes, which makes things a lot easier when you're working with really advanced rigs that have a lot of bones. Just go in and color code what you need, and then, oh yeah, the purple bone, that's the hand bone. Those are the keyframes for the hand bone. And then you could go in and easily manipulate them, delete them, copy them, whatever you need to do. So that can make organization much more organized. Now the last bone enhancement feature we want to show you is called bone labels. And this can make organization, like bone coloring, a lot easier. As you can see, when we click on these bones, they have different labels. And this was done previous when we were creating smart bone actions. You need labels for those. But for instance, front forearm, and you have different labels here, abbreviated that stand for different things for this character. You could, of course, be more elaborate with these labels if you wanted to. But let's say you want to show one of these labels. You can go up to the top bar and click show label with that bone selected. And now you have the label visible on your canvas. So this is more useful for smart bones. As you can see, we are on that smart bone layer. And if you have a lot of smart bone dials, putting the labels on the canvas will make things a lot easier 
because if you have all these dials without labels, it could be kind of difficult. So all you have to do again is select a bone and then click show label to see the label. Now you can also do this with a bunch of bones at once. We're just selecting all the bones of the select bone tool and clicking show label and every bone that has a label will then be marked on your character or on your bones. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching guys and we will see you next time.